I'm Eva, I'm your personality and talent development psychologist and today I'm going to tell you how to support others uh, to you know help them become their better selves and how to help them succeed at something they really want and uh, you know how to make it uh, you know, kind of subliminal also, if you want, uh, if you want to be this, uh, uh, you know, someone just uh, kind of pulling strings uh, the right I I the right way, in the right direction, uh, without making a huge fuss about it. So it's possible too. Uh, I'm sure you already know it, but uh, I'm going to tell you how. I want to talk about one phenomenon that actually causes it, and it's called self-fulfilling prophecy. And I already mentioned that perhaps during uh, one of my videos, but you know, it's, it's really important. Uh, and uh, actually I encountered this topic uh, again uh, during like last two weeks when I was writing uh, part of some, you know, some work uh, about management and this actually can be used as a great management tool as well so um it's uh, if you uh, are a team leader or if you are a manager and want to use that for your benefit and for the benefit of your team you can use that as well but you can use it for uh, you know when uh, supporting your friends or your family as well so uh, self-fulfilling prophecy. What does it mean? Uh, it's about, uh, you know, having certain expectations. It's about behaving uh, in line with these expectations. And because these expectations are regarding well yourself or other people, then uh, you know people or your you uh, you know yourself as well uh, have the tendency to kind of behave in a way that they fulfill uh, these expectations. Okay, so that's why it's called a self-fulfilling prophecy, right? Because um, let me give you an example. If you um, expect uh, your friend to, um, I don't know, get a driving license to really nail the final exam, then, uh, you know, you kind of send this message, you know, during your uh, interaction with this friend and, um, you know, you kind of make him feel uh, your support and your belief that uh, he's going to make it because um, you know he it seems he's good at it and you really wish uh, for him to succeed and uh, you know by this because your friend uh, knows about your expectations because your friend uh, feels your support he's not just you know feeling your support uh, but uh, he is also taking steps to, well, kind of not let you down. Uh, so he might study harder, he might, uh, you know, go for some extra rides in case he feels he needs that to succeed uh, at the final exam. So he kind of takes some steps to fulfill your expectations. And, um, you know, by doing this, he might actually really get better and better at this and um, you know uh, also starting to be more confident and starting actually really expect that uh, he's going to succeed as well and you know by that it, it's kind of it's kind of a, this circle and it works uh, towards success so um, 
that's how you can actually support people i don't know maybe maybe it uh, reminds you of some you know movie scenes uh, with uh, football coaches who uh, kind of gather their team uh, before you know kind of the final stretch uh so perhaps they are losing and he kind of needs them um you know kind of perk up or uh he cheers them on uh and uh, yeah these situations actually um came over as a bit strong sometime so remember that you want to keep it uh credible you need to keep it quite subtle so no um, um you know overdone cheers or uh nothing nothing like that nothing unusual no unusual communication style between you and the person who uh, you want to support just you know kind of keep it subtle keep it casual but express your belief in that person and your expectation of a good outcome and not just that you're being supportive and you're doing really what uh, you know every uh, friend or mentor or a good manager should do but uh, you are actually helping uh, that person to change or adjust their own behavior uh, in order to make it in order to um, kind of uh, um, uh, you know build the arts and uh, you know, uh, working towards uh, success. Just be careful because this self-fulfilling prophecy, if it's positive, it's called Pygmalion effect, but it's also negative. So uh, it's something called Golem effect and uh, it works the other way. So it's the same thing just the other way around and um, it's really bad so please uh, st steer away uh, from it it's when you expect someone to fail or if you believe that someone is a loser you kind of transmitting that message to so the person even when they before, you know, even if they before felt quite good about themselves, then they can start kind of catching these messages and they might start doubting themselves and, uh, you know, feel pretty bad and, uh, you know, stop trying. And, uh, you know, I really encourage you to, uh, you know, support others. If you don't like someone, if you don't wish someone to succeed, kind of don't be a loser, don't be a bad person. Just uh, you know, leave them alone. Uh, make it their own struggle, make it their own battle, but don't bring them down. It's not necessary. Focus on people who you want to help. Focus on people who you want to support. It's possible. It's actually quite easy. And uh, um, yeah, it's really rewarding for yourself because you know the good thing uh, and uh, the way uh, or the reason why this mechanism is really good that if you make someone feel good about themselves, uh, uh, if you make someone behave in a way that um, helps them in life, you uh, also start feeling better and better and uh, like someone who can totally do it and like someone who can support others and how, how uh, some, someone who is the guy or is the person who just supports other because it feels great and um, well guess what happens uh, you start to do it more and more because you start to expect it from yourself that you're gonna be the man or the woman who saves the day and uh, helps others so by doing this by supporting others um, you know you actually can't lose if you if you're doing it this way and if you know even if you fail or even if the other person you know turns out to Kind of not being the person who's worth it, uh, who's worth your support, uh, you will still be, you 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 will be still the person 
who uh, helps others, who supports them, who cheers for them. And uh, well, that's certainly something valuable. That's certainly something I really wish you to become. So um, yeah, that's this little trick. It's called self-fulfilling prophecy in general. If it's good, it's called Pygmalion, Pygmalion FA. That's what you should aim for. That's what you should go for. Steer away from Golem effect. That's something really bad. That's about lowering expectations uh, when it comes to other people. And you really don't want to do that because it's putting them down. It's unnecessary. You want to cheer them up. You want to be authentic and credible when expressing your support and your belief that they have uh, all what it takes to be better. Okay. So that was it. It was really uh, actually simple. It's quite straightforward. Again, it's a mechanism that uh, already worked around you without uh, you know you knowing how it's called. But I think that it's good to kind of uncover uh, all these uh, mechanisms that are working uh, without uh, no us noticing uh, sometimes and. Um, uh, because then you can actually use them um, and control them and, uh, you know, provide yourself and others uh, with some pretty nice benefits. Okay, guys, so that's it. That's all. Uh, I hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, you are a bit wiser as well. Uh, and uh, I wish you an amazing day and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Okay, bye.